Hello, good evening. Welcome to City News Daily on City TV. My name is Pearl Akanyo Furi. In today's edition, we'll bring you some sad news on the passing of dancehall artist Ebony Reigns. And also, the minority in Ghana's parliament present their version of the current state of the nation. and Ghanaians woke up today to the shocking news of the death of dancehall artist Priscilla Opoku Kwati, known in showbiz circles as Ebony Reigns. The 20-year-old died together with two others at Mankranso in the Ashanti region. On the jeep they were traveling in, crashed into a VIP bus. Some of her songs that dominated the airwaves were Sponsor, Mamisha and Date Your Father. Nana Opoku Kwatin is her father and he grieves over the laws. Actually, I didn't believe yeah, that real. until it was confirmed by the regional police command or something that uh, my girl is dead. And that's it. A big star Ebony was. You can't take it away from her. Splendid. So that's it. Well, the president of the Musicians Association of Ghana, that's Vice Oseku, for popularly known as Obo, eulogized Ebony, saying the music industry had indeed lost a burden star. A year down, she's in the Artist of the Year category, and it's actually been rumored that she's a very, very possible winner of that category. Her music had around top 20 most played songs in the year 2017. Ebony's song was the number one most played song. You know, so if you consider her contribution over the short period, you can classify her in the league of top players. The minority in parliament has downplayed government assertion that the economy is performing better and the president Ikufuado's watch. They are calling for an independent assessment and publication of those employed under the Planting for Food and Jobs program. The minority claim that the upward trajectory of the economy is due to the solid foundation laid by the previous NDC government. They also doubt if the country will exit the IMF program as announced by the president. The minority were mindful and concerned about his early announcement and how that can affect the international financial market and even the Ghanaian economy as they continue to issue bonds. We have not met all the requirements and we are not likely to meet all the requirements. Let's go to the court now and the Human Rights Court has ordered the Electoral Commission to publish all assets and audited statements of the account of political parties in the country. This was the judgment in a suit filed by a private citizen, Lolan Eko Sego Moses, and pressure group citizen Ghana Movement. The presiding judge, Antoni Yabua, also asked the EC to publish a demand notice to political parties instructing them to comply with the new law within six calendar months beginning today. So in this month of love, City 97.3 FM is helping couples find ways of improving their relationships. And so tomorrow, that's the 10th of February, the Keeping Love Alive program will be held at the Holiday Inn Hotel in Accra, where seasoned relationship counsellors and motivational speakers like Dr. Emmanuel Hobson, Amos Kevin Anna, Leticia Ohini Ifa and Michael Mensah will take them through topics like 10 financial mistakes to avoid during marriage, seven misconceptions about marriage, secrets to dealing with disappointment in marriage and what happy couples don't tell you. And I'll be there to get some information on how I can improve my relationship. We'll see you there. And that does it for City News Daily on City TV. For more news updates, visit our website, cityfmonline.com. I am Pearl Akanya Ofuru. Second Image International Admissions in Progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy and fashion. Call us 1-0243-331-999. Evening and weekend classes are also available.